you, you recently tweeted it that it seems like the ones who over strategize everything end up not really doing anything and the ones going with the flow and not overthinking it are actually seeing progress um you make samples you make drum kits you make beats you run a mentorship program you develop the course you stream you have a podcast you run a, you were running an auction site you're marketing yourself you have a pure apparel you've toured you have nfts you have your own cryptocurrency um how much how, how how do you structure all of that do you ever feel spread too thinly especially if you're just kind of going with the flow and not necessarily overthinking at all how does that work out in, in day-to-day life for you man when you say all those things in one sentence it just it makes me shiver a little bit because i'm like like what what am i i'm crazy what am i thinking like <laughs> how am i I don't know, man. I honestly don't know the answer. Um, I tend to jump into things that feel good. I jump into things that feel fun. Um, I, If I feel physically and mentally overwhelmed or exhausted, I tend to pull away. So I think for me, at least what works for me is I, I tend to take action as quickly as possible on things that feel very exciting because I know that, you know, it's a 70, 72 hour rule, right? This is what Drake talks about, but this is a different version of what Drake was talking about. The 72 hour rule basically is if you're excited to do something right now and you don't take action 24 hours later, you're not going to feel as you'll still be excited, but you're going to kind of forget about it a little bit. You're not going to be as excited. 48 hours later, you're going to be even less excited about it. 72 hours later, you're going to completely forget about it, right? So I'm sort of the type of person to take immediate action on things that feel great. Let's put a cryptocurrency together. Fuck, let's go. Who do we call right now? Um, Let's put together AI loops, call them swirl loops, and start pushing the button on that. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's start now. Put out a sample pack, Alorium, NFT. Fuck, that sounds crazy. How do we, let's fucking finish this in the next, you know, three hours. So that's the type of person I am. So that's helped me to be able to execute all the things that I'm able to execute. Now, not everything works. None of it's flawless. Um, but it's not meant to be. Uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of jumping into things that feel good, feel right, trying them. Not everything's going to work. Some things will work. Some things won't. The things that do work, you keep putting energy into. The things that don't feel good anymore or just don't seem to work or just feel more stress, stressful, um, I tend to pull out of more. Um, and kind of where I am right now is sort of the result of it all, right? So I think it's a delicate balance. I think everyone functions differently. Um, obviously, I have a baby now, so I don't have the same luxury as I did of just like, hey, I'm going to LA or hey, I'm going to see Pain One for a week. Like, I can't necessarily do that without having to pre-plan a lot. But outside of that, um, I think, you know, approaching things in that way um, is super helpful. 